Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is with separation. So with separation is uh, basically it's not uh, perfectly uh, an analysis. It is basically a diagnostic aid to measure the jaw discrepancy uh, on a lateral cephalogram. So with separation was uh, put forward by Alexander Jacobson and he was working in the University of with want a strand. So that is why the, this name has came with appraisal. It is that university's name. That with what a strand. He was working in that uh, university that uh, Alexander Jacobson. And the basic purpose is to identify instances in which the ANB reading does not accurately reflects the extent of an anterior posterior jaw dysplasia and the sagittal plane. So we have seen this A and B angle that is nasion, uh, point A on the maxilla and point B on the mandible. So this A and B angle is uh, usually 2 degree. So this we have seen in uh, Steiner's analysis but sometimes this reading uh, might be wrong and there are a lot of shortcomings in A and B angle because uh, the ANB angle decreases when the anterior facial height is increased. So there is increased anterior facial height, this ANB angle decreases. So to avoid that ANB angle uh, discrepancies in patient to patient, uh, Mr. Alexander Jacobson put forward this width suppressor and uh, because ANP angle basically reflects the relationship of jaws of each other and also to the cranial base. So as I said, it is a diagnostic aid to measure the jaw discrepancy on a lateral CEF. And usually there can also be uh, the ANP angle affected by uh, the rotations and variations of sagittal and vertical jaw dimensions relative to the cranial base. So to avoid this uh, problem Jacobson put forward this with separation and so what is we are doing uh, in with separation is this is a uh, enlarged portion of uh, the point A, point B and the central incisor the lateral cef it's an enlarged portion so from point A and point B and we are making a functional occlusal plane. This line is functional occlusal plane by maximum intercuspation seen. So this is a functional occlusal plane and we draw a perpendicular line from A to this occlusal plane which is known as AO and a perpendicular line from point B to the occlusal plane which is known as BO. So this is functional occlusal plane a line dropping from point A and a line from point B that is perpendicular line AO and BO. So this is the procedure we are doing in with separation. So basically uh, this class 2 if it is a class 2 relation we know this maxilla, maxillary uh, proclination will be there uh, the maxillary teeth will be proclined. So the point A will be ahead of point B. So AO will be ahead of point uh, BO in class 2 and uh, this BO will be ahead of point uh, AO in class 3 and uh, most commonly this will coincide in uh, mostly the female cases so among women it is uh, coinciding AO and BO will coincide so uh, the functional uh, occlusal plane is the key plane that is a plane where we keep reference for width separation. So how do we apply this width separation? So instead of taking angle we are taking linear measurement. So that is the difference between A and B angle. Here A and B angle the angulation between A to B compared with the nation point. So since there is a lot of uh, problem with uh, the skeletal parameters so there is lot of uh, discrepancy may happen with the A and B angle. So to avoid that angular measurement, we are taking linear measurement, especially the dental parameter. We are taking the measurement between A and B O 
to describe the anterior posterior jaw harmony because it is not affected by the skeletal parameters but again uh, measuring this distance to explain the jaw harmony of our maxilla mandible it's again under criticism because the problem is this occlusal plane this occlusal plane can be easily affected by tooth eruption and dental uh, development so there are difficulties or inaccuracies uh, like identification of occlusal plane also will be there and also inclination of occlusal plane may change by the vertical movement of incisors, molars or both during the treatment. So with separation also is not a perfect method. So it can also be affected because of this occlusal plane uh, may change during the tooth eruption and development. Inaccuracies in identifying this occlusal plane and inclination of occlusal plane due to the growth changes. So uh, that is all about uh, which appraisal it is an adjunct to uh, A and B ankle because uh, uh, the ankulation difficulties or the problems associated with uh, angle and um, its changes we move to another technique of dental parameters that is difference between the occlusal plane that is connecting AO and BO and comparing and associating with the ANB angle. So that is all about width appraisal. It is a linear measurement between the two uh, points AO and BO and uh, providing an uh, additional information regarding the jaw disharmony in an anterior posterior line. So I will come up with a new session on dentistry and more. Thank you.